This week, Canterbury's Alex Flippen has been looking into the science of predicting violent weather and what better time, especially the difficulties rather of knowing when a storm will produce a tornado. It's hard. Yeah, and tonight he's going to tell us more about some of the high-tech gadgets that are being used right now to make the process easier. Take a look. During severe weather, Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff mans the studio, looking at computer models, radar data, in touch with storm spotters in the field. No spotters rely on him. Residents rely on them, and we all rely on the warnings issued by the National Weather Service in Tulsa. But on May 1st of this year, we had a storm that nearly produced a tornado. We were about 85 percent with that storm producing a tornado, and there was no warning on the time when it moved over Fayetteville. This radar image shows that storm passing directly over Washington Regional Medical Center, again close to producing a tornado and with no warning coming from the National Weather Service until after the threat had passed. So what good is a tornado warning that comes too late? It does no good. It did no good on April 21st, 1996. One incidence is when a uh, F4 tornado came through. It was downgraded later to an F3, but an F3 tornado came through Van Buren and uh, Fort Smith with no warning. Both cities were torn apart, luckily with little loss of life. And tornado warning concerns exploded because tornado sirens never went off. However, weather experts worry that an oversounding of tornado sirens over the years may have made residents skeptical of their warnings. We want to cut down the false alarm ratio so people don't think we're crying wolf all the time. The only way to do that, learn what causes a storm to produce a tornado in the first place. Not an easy task. Researchers have tried for years. Now closer than ever, Dan Scoff intends to test new theory in the field that may make early and accurate warnings a reality. I don't want to just be able to forecast the weather correctly. I want to know which storms will be the most significant. And not only that, but, you know, which storm has the best potential to produce a tornado. Alex Flippin, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. That's important stuff, and we're going to find out a lot more about the new theory. Dan's been telling us about it. Right. He also talks to Alex, so be sure to watch that tomorrow night at 10 o'clock on KNWA. Yeah, you might.